Hi everyone, surprise, surprise, another one. You're lucky. I don't usually do more than one. <laughs> um, if you're returning, thank you. If it's your first time, hey, thank you again. Please hit that little subscribe. I'd love it if you do. And hit the little bell. Hit all. It'll let you know every time I upload. Today, I'm doing this one. It's to help a friend, a couple of friends, promote a BP along that they're doing. A dark painting event. Um, now, it's hard for them. It's hard for all of us that have been through it. It's called um, Still My Baby, which, yeah, Still My Baby DP. It's about miscarriage, stillbirth, death of, death of a child by any age, infertility. Um, it's to create, create a voice, open conversation and help those that are going through it and to let them know that they're not alone. Um, what they want you to do is just do a dime painting that tells your story. If you think it represents um, your story, well, yeah. Um, I, I'll only be doing little snap size ones. I, myself, I had five children. Um, I've lost, miscarried, seven babies or one. Um, it's hard. Um, as some of you will know, I'm actually a digital artist. I, um, I even did a, an art piece which is up on Rose Profit Creations website. Uh, it's called It'll Be Okay. Um, that was in honour of my seven babies that I, I lost. Um, it's not easy. Uh, my sister she, um, she, she stopped counting at 35 miscarriages. And it was hard for her. Really hard. Um, a friend of mine. Now, this event will be run by... Catherine Tremaine and Rose Prophet, who have both miscarried, lost children. Um, young Kath, hers was only two years ago. Um, her little boy was stillborn. He's still greatly missed. Um, we all talk about, you know, how hard it is for the women. But it's hard for the men too. Um, her husband. It was so hard for him. Um... I, I can't imagine what it, it, it would be like for a man because men, men are raised, you know, not to show their feelings. And I, love, I had three sons and I taught them, you know, it's okay to show your feelings. 
you're not any less of a man if you show your feelings. Because no one knows what you're going through unless you let them know. So, but yeah, um, for women, women find it easier to show their feelings, whereas men don't. And this event, you know, it, it's, it's a hard event. Um, it's, it's hard to talk about, um, but it needs to be talked about so people know they're not alone in what they're feeling. Um, Everyone copes differently. Um, a lot of us just put on a brave face. We smile. And we carry on. But um, in this, we, um, we bottle that up. And we shouldn't. We need to talk about it to help. Um, I remember um, when I had my one of my miscarriages. It was at the same like my sister and I both were pregnant at the same time. And um, we both miscarried at the same time. And I remember being told that um, I should have more con because you know I, I cried. Um, and I got told, you know, that I shouldn't because I should have more consideration for my sister. Um, because, you know, <laughs> my sister lost another one. And I remember at one stage, I was so angry and I... I I made a hurtful comment, not to her, not to the person who told me I should have more consideration, but just in general to myself when I was in my room privately, you know, I, I was sitting there saying, oh, so what, she's lost another one, you know, it's, why can't I? grieve the one that I've lost, you know, and, yeah, I hated myself for it, because it, it was such a nasty comment that I made, but I was so glad that I'd never voiced that comment to her, because I know it would have broken her heart, and, Like, I think it's horrible that she had gone through so many. And she, look, don't get me wrong, she has, um, she has three beautiful children now. And, um, she has two gorgeous grandchildren. Yeah, I <laughs> it was always so hard to um, face her after I, you know, privately said my little comment.
because I just, you know, every time I looked at her, I kept thinking, how could I have been so mean to think something like that? And like, I know my, like, my thought was out at first. Um, but to me, it still was not acceptable. You know, I, I shouldn't have even thought something like that. But then, you know, I, I, um, I'd fallen pregnant again at another time. And the same person <coughs> I miscarried again and that same person that told me last time I have no right to grieve because I've got to remember how many my sister has lost I had said the same thing again no, and It was hurtful and I got to the stage that when I miscarried when I got pregnant I didn't want to tell anyone um, and when I miscarried I bottled it up I said nothing I acted normal um, I'd never let people see me cry. Acted. I I would act like I didn't care. Because I I wasn't allowed to show my feelings, my grief. And it's not easy. Um, people shouldn't be made to not grieve in front of others. Um, I still can find it hard at times to um, grieve in front of people. Um, I can still find it hard to talk sometimes about it. It's um. It's becoming easier. Um, but it will always be hard. Um, it will always hurt. Um, You, you should come along, um, join me, even just to listen. Um, there's no prizes or anything. It's just a just a way to let you know you're not on your own. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> As you can see, I still get a bit choked up. Um, I um, I've done some other art pieces. Um. honor the loss um, honor the loss honor pregnancy rainbows um, yeah uh, 
they were hard to do at first. Um, like I know doing my art piece, um, it'll be okay. That was one of the hardest pieces I ever did. Um, and it was the first time I really put it out there for the public to really, really know that I had miscarried especially so many um the other ones were to my mind as you know that sometimes there is a rainbow Like I said, I, I, I have five beautiful children. Uh, I love with all my heart. Um, I even have the sweetest little granddaughter. <laughs> um, there's also another little boy who's so close to my heart. He's not mine biologically, but in my heart, he's mine. Um, he calls me mum. He's the sweetest little, <laughs> cheeky little boy. <laughs> I love him with all my heart. He's such a cutie, such a darling. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> geez, I keep running out of things to say. Uh, I, you know, I actually thought I could do a bit more of this stuff in between um, than I have. <laughs> oh, look, as you see, I use all my pens. I need to talk about something happier at the moment. <laughs> um, most of my pens are from uh, from um, custom dog painting pens by TJ. Uh, I do have one from a company in the UK uh, that's Crafted Mates. Um, it's the one with the little pen topper. You could probably see it. Uh, <laughs> no, I think he's hidden. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's hidden, my little pen topper. So, yes, I I'm trying not to. <laughs> I was going to try not bring him out, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know yet. Um... Uh, the tray I'm using at the moment, that's from Firefly. Um, and the painting, this is actually mine. It's called Cheetah. This one's a 50 by 50. You would have seen it in my last whip and chat. Um, I was using some crystals and metallics that I was testing out from a company called One Stop Dots. Oh my God, that's so... Um, yeah, <laughs> I love her drills. They're really good. Um, <laughs> could say I don't go to it much because otherwise, well, you know, usually I would know where the symbols are sitting. Not at the moment. I've been too on too much art, I think. I have so much art sitting there. Um, actually, I do have a, an art page, so you can go and have a look at my art. 
Um, I will actually link that in the description. I will put the links for Rogue Prophet and Catherine Tremaine. Um, so you can follow their, their event. Um, plus, I'm an affiliate for a, couple, for a few companies. So I will also put the links that then in the description. Um, I also have a, a coffee profile, whatever they call it. <laughs> um, if you want to contribute towards that, um, that just helps. It goes straight back into the channel. I can buy other things to promote to unbox, to show you. Um, but yeah, uh, my art at the moment is licensed at Rogue Profit Creations. So, um, yeah, I, I will put all the links down below. So check them out, go check them out. But yeah, um, some of you will know that I'm actually doing my own event next year. Um, okay, so I've got their links. Um, but at the moment, yeah, I want you to go check out and maybe just, you know, even if you're just watching this and to Catherine and um, Rose on their, their event. And, yeah, it, it's a hard one for them to talk about. Um, it's a hard one for anyone. But, yeah, just... Join in, watch, listen, who knows, it may help you get through the hard times. So yeah, um, I might stop it there. Um, so yeah, till next time, be kind, be good, have fun, and I hope you join along. Bye.